your favorite host, Denise, again, here to serve you another episode of our favorite noontime TV show here in Rated Shete. Life mo, share mo! So for today's episode, mga kasari, unfortunately, we're not gonna have any documentaries to show you. But we have decided to give you a very special math tutorial episode. Since it's currently a mix of the online classes around here in the Philippines, this episode is gonna help our student viewers out there who are quite struggling with their math lessons to understand them. So, what are we waiting for? Let's now watch the Rated Shete math tutorial team in their tutorial about a pre lesson. Lesson Parabola. So let's go. So to give you an overview about figure identification, here is an example. First, quantity x minus h raised to 2 equals 4p quantity y minus k. It says that it opens upward because the 4p is positive and it opens on the x-axis. However, if it is quantity x minus h raised to 2 equals negative 4p, quantity y minus k, it will open downward since the 4p is negative and it still opens on the x-axis. While if it is quantity y minus k raised to 2 equals 4p, quantity x minus h, since the 4p is, still, is positive and it opens on the y-axis, it opens rightward. However, if it is quantity y minus k raised to 2 equals negative 4p quantity x minus h, since the 4p is negative and it opens still on the y-axis, it means that the parabola opens leftward. So let us now proceed with the other axis. So the question, where does the graph of the parabola given by the equation quantity y minus 5 raised to 2 equals 4x open? Notice that it is y squared and it is positive for x. So, it means that it opens rightward. I'll go to figure identification 2. For example, number 2, we were given the question, where does the graph of the parabola given by the equation x minus 0.365 squared is equal to negative 3y open? In this equation, the x value is the one that is squared, meaning that this parabola will open either upward or downward. Then, the y value is negative 3. Negative 3 is negative, meaning that the parabola will open on a downward motion. Since the y value is negative, the parabola will open on the negative side of the y-axis. So, yeah, it opens downward. Thank you! Hi, my name is Sean. So, my report is about identify the opening and the vertex of the parabola with an equation of quantity y minus 4.5 raised to 2 equal 12 quantity x plus 13. So as you can notice here, the y and uh, raised to 2 and the 12. So the 12 is positive. Okay? And this means is the vertex will open to the right. And the vertex form used here is v quantity h and k okay so the the k the h here is 13 and the k is 4.5 so when we write it the 13 will be negative we we'll transpose this and the 4.5 will be the same so this is the this is the opening and the vertex of the parabola thank you now, to identify the vertex and opening of the parabola with a given equation of y minus 37 squared is equal to negative 19x minus 3. To find the vertex, we will use the formula of v open parenthesis h and k close parenthesis with positive 37 as k and positive 3 as h. Now, v is a 3 and 37 and this will be the vertex of this parabola. So now, to define the opening of this parabola, the given equation y minus 37 squared is equal to negative 19x minus 3 with the number of negative 19 in the x area. Make this, they make this equation negative. Does this make the opening of this parabola a parabola that opens to the left? 
Okay, so let's now go to our first standard formula example. So in this example, we were given the equation x squared is equal to 8y. And then to find the parabola, we need to use the equation x minus h squared is equal to 4p times the quantity of y minus k squared. So, the first thing that we need to do is to find the vertex of the parabola, of course. And since in the equation, x squared is equal to 8y, is there's no h and k given, then our vertex is automatically 0, 0. Then, as we, as we can see in the equation, the x value is the squared 1, meaning that our parabola will either open downward or upward. But since the value beside y which is 8 is positive then our form then our parabola is gonna go upward since it's positive then to find the p we're gonna equate 4p to 8 then divide then divide both sides by 4 to isolate the p value so 8 divided by 4 is 2 so now we have out the value of our p which is equal to 2 then after getting the p we're now going to before we solve for the focus and the before we solve for the focus, we're first going to draw the um, parabola since we already have our vertex and we already have our p. And we already have the um, the value of how wide the opening of our parabola would be since it's 4p. We're just going to divide it by 2 since so it's 2p. So the, 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 the wide, um, the opening of our parabola would be... 2p would be 4p. So 2p, 2p. So since our p is positive, then it's go. Okay, so now as we can see here in the graph, there is a yellow dot. Then that represents our vertex in 0, 0. So the yellow dot is in the 0, 0 part of the graph. Then as I've said, the opening of our parabola would be 4p. So the first side is 2p, then the other side is 2p. Then we're gonna put um, green dots beside those, beside the ends of those um, 2p. So yeah, as you can see here, there's a green dot, then the green dot. Then that's, we're gonna draw the parabola. So that's the opening of our parabola. Then we're now gonna draw our parabola from the vertex then um, passing through the passing through the green dots to represent the 4p yeah and then after that we're now going to solve the focus so in the, so in this video we, um the we already assumed that 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 the directrix is going to be in negative 2 but we're going to further discuss that later after um solving for the focus so we're gonna solve for the focus first before we um, further discuss about the directrix and how we got the directrix so in the focus what we need to do is to find the h and then we're gonna add p to our k to find the focus so our h as said in our vertex is zero and then our k is also zero but we add the p which is two so our focus is zero two so um, we're gonna put a yellow line in 0, 2, 2 signify the focus. And then now, after solving the focus, we're now gonna discuss about how we got the directrix, which is negative 2. So, the formula for um, getting the directrix is... So, so as I've said, um, in getting the directrix, what we need to do is y signifying the directrix is equal to k minus p. So, we're gonna minus our solve k sa na solve din natin p, which is 2. So, 0, which is our k minus 2, is equal to negative 2. So, our directrix is negative 2. So, that's how we got the directrix, which we put in advance kanina sa, um, para sa graph. So, that's all for our parabola. We've now solved the p which is equal to 2 the focus which is equal to 0 2 our directrix which is equal to negative 2 and our vertex which is 0 0 so that's all thank you this equation's parabola is x plus 3 half squared equals to 4y a 4 times y minus 2 modify or write it in standard form and it becomes x minus h squared equals to 4p times y minus k now we'll calculate the points h comma k is the vertex Therefore, this equation's vertex will be a negative 3 halves comma 2. After determining the vertex, we must also determine the focus and the directrix. 
the value of p will assist you in determining the value of the vertex. And the formula indicates that the value of p is 4. So we'll calculate it to 4. And here's the equation. Cancel out the 4, divide 4 by 4, and the result should be p equals 1. To evaluate the graph's opening, you must first know how if the p is positive or negative. If the p is positive, that if, then it will rise. And if the p is negative, it will rise downward. Since the p is positive, the graph will be oriented upward. Now we can draw the graph and identify the vertex, which is negative 3 halves comma 2. H comma K plus P will be used to assess the focus. As a result, this will be negative 3 halves comma 2 plus 1. Add 1 and 2 to get the focus. So, magiging negative 3 halves comma 3 na siya. Now, we have our vertex, which is negative 3 halves comma 2. And the, p and the p value is up 1, so which shows how far we have to go to reach our vertex. So that will be our focus. We'll graph it now. The direct is are p distance in the opposite direction. We'll use the formula y, y equals k minus p to figure this out. As a result, y equals 2 minus 1. Now onto the graph. We'll go up to 1 and draw a line that displays our direct tricks which is y equals 1. The graph should now look like this. So, in this regular form, the parabola equation is x plus 3 squared equals to negative 8 y minus 1 squared. Write it to standard form and it will become x minus h squared equals to 4p times y minus k. Then, we'll draw a sketch of a graph first. Now, we can see that h is negative 3 and k is 1. And it demonstrates that the vertex h and k would be negative 3 and 1. The value of p will then be calculated. Now we'll adjust 4p to negative 8 to determine the value of the vertex. Here's the equation. Cancel out the 4, divide negative 8 by 4, and the result should be p equals negative 2. Whenever you see y equals x squared, the graph will now open either upwards or downwards. If the p is positive, it will open upward, but since this shows that the p is negative, then it will open downward. The graph shows that the vertex is at negative 2, 1. The coordinates of the focus of this parabola is going to be h, k plus p. And so we said that h is negative 3, k is 1, and p is negative 2. So 1 added to 2 is equals to negative 1. Therefore, this represents the coordinates of the focus. Now, it is shown that the directrix, directrix is located at y equals 3. And then, let's graph it. It should look like something like this. And there you have it, parabola in standard form. Okay, so given the general form, y is equals to ax squared plus bx plus c, and the standard form quantity x minus h raised to 2 equals 4p quantity y minus k. Let us try with this example, transforming general form to standard form. Given this equation, x squared plus 10x minus 2y plus 23 is equals to 0. Okay, so gazing at the standard form, since we have the square of binomial on the left side, it will be x squared plus 10x, So and we will move the other term into the right side, so it will be 2y since it is negative 2, and then the 23 will be negative 23. Since we have square of binomial in the standard form, it means that we have to make the left side of the equation a perfect square trinomial, so it will be x squared plus 10x plus blank equals 2y okay so 2y minus 23 and then a plus blank as well so now what will be the value of the blank since the middle term 10x we have to divide it into 2 10 divided by 2 it's 5 Square uh, and then 5 squared is 25. So the value of the blank is 25.
Okay. Twenty five. And then a twenty five. Okay, now since it is perfect square trinomial, square of binomial, x plus square root of twenty five, which is five raised to two is equals to simplify two y plus two. And the next common factor, copy first the x plus 5 squared is equals to 2 quantity y plus 1. So that is then the answer. The given equation is 5y squared plus 30y plus 24x equal 51. So let's rearrange it. 5y squared plus 30y equal negative 24. So the positive 24 will be trans will be transformed into negative when the negative the the given equation is negative twenty four and this will be positive twenty four okay and x plus fifty one let's just arrange it here okay over five okay. make it over five okay y squared plus six y equal negative 24 over 5 x because the negative 24 is x plus 51 over 5 okay here's the positive plus 54 over 5 okay so let's make it a general form so y squared plus 6x plus 6y sorry 6y plus blank equal negative 24 over 5x plus 51 over 5 plus blank so y squared is 6y when we make it to when we make it 6 over 2 squared okay equal this will be equal to so 9 so the 9 will put it here okay and here so y plus 3 squared equal negative 24 over 5x plus 51 plus 45 over 5 okay so let's make it y plus move it here y plus just copy it 3e raised squared just copy and equal negative 24 over 5x plus 96 over 5 okay and just add it okay so this is the we will make it a standard form okay so just copy it y plus 3 squared equal negative 24 over 5 and x equal negative 4 so that's it that that's the standard form okay Now, to the next equation, y squared plus 10y minus 12x plus 13 is equals to 0. We will move the 13 to the other side, making it y squared plus 10y is equals to 12x minus 13. But the moving of 13 to the other side makes its previous place blank. Thus, we will make it y squared plus 10y plus blank is equals to 12x minus 13 plus blank. To identify the missing numbers, we will be computing 10 over 2 squared. Then, it is equals to 25. 25 is the missing number. So, open parenthesis, y plus 5, close parenthesis, squared, 
is equal to 12x plus 12. Thus, the standard form of this parabola equation is y plus 5 squared is equals to 12x plus 1.